Representative, Senator. Um, let's see. I lost it where to go. Oh, uh, this actually refers back to the Cut, Cap, and Balance Act. Uh, where do you see that now, and what do you think its chances are of, of getting uh, passed? Okay, so the 2012 version of the Cut, Cap, and Balance Act is patterned after last year's version, but I've updated it and included new numbers in it. And most importantly, I've made clear that this gets rid of the defense sequestration. In fact, it obviates the need for all of the sequestration provisions that were embodied in the Budget Control Act passed last year. Um, uh, the defense sequestration provisions are particularly troubling to a lot of people because a lot of people are understandably concerned that we ought to not be making huge, abrupt cuts on national defense. We shouldn't have these cuts impact the military uh, more than anybody else. And so that's one of the reasons why we need this act. It makes clear that defense sequestration will not hit or any of the other sequestration provisions. So I, I introduced it just a couple of weeks ago. We're now up... Uh, uh, we've got about, what, 20, 21 co-sponsors in the Senate. We're picking up more co-sponsors all the time. I believe uh, a House version has also been filed and is also gaining co-sponsors. So um, that will gain momentum as we uh, get closer and closer to the date when we have to address the debt limit again. And that date could come, you know, as soon as October or November or as late as February or March, uh, depending on how the number crunchers at the Treasury Department do their magic.